If everyone can hear the diver, let's give the OK symbol. Great. My name is Sarah, and the presenter with the microphone is Tom. Thank you for joining us today at our Ocean Beyond the Sound exhibit. You are currently looking at our largest tank in the aquarium. I am surrounded by 110,000 gallons of salt water that's being right here in the aquarium. This tank is 18 feet deep and averages about 72 degrees Fahrenheit and represents an area called the Race, or Long Island Sound, in the Atlantic Ocean. Do sharks that big really live on the Long Island Sound? Great question. Yes, the sharks here in this exhibit are found in the race at the mouth of Long Island Sound. Most of the sharks, like this one, are sand tiger sharks, which are found in all of the world's oceans. We also have a lemon shark in this exhibit, which is found only in the Atlantic Ocean. We don't typically see these larger sharks in the western sound near us, but we do commonly see much smaller sharks around here. The aquarium has just replaced its gas-guzzling diesel vessel with a new super-efficient hybrid electric catamaran, and we frequently see small sharks on our marine life study cruises. Sarah, do you have anything to add? I love seeing sharks when I'm swimming or diving in the south. Their presence tells me that the Long Island Sound ecosystem is healthy. That's right, one of the biggest threats to both sharks and humans is caused by the burning of fossil fuels. When we burn fossil fuels like coal, oil, and natural gas, it produces carbon dioxide, which accumulates in Earth's atmosphere. The atmosphere is like a blanket that surrounds the Earth. Just like a blanket on your bed, that layer of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere becomes a heat-trapping blanket. It holds in heat that should normally escape into, into space. It warms the air and the waters of Long Island Sound. And because the waters of the Sound are already warmer than the surrounding ocean water, because they are so much more shallow than the Atlantic Ocean, the warming waters can cause a real problem for reproduction and movement patterns of fish and mammals that rely on the sound. At the current rate we are burning fossil fuels, Long Island Sound, where many of the animals you see here at the, Mar at the Maritime Aquarium live and breed, is predicted to get about two degrees Celsius warmer by the end of the century. That is a very serious change in the average temperature and it will impact shark populations. We don't know exactly what the impacts of a warmer sound will be yet, but scientists are working to track populations and migratory patterns and to learn the ways a warmer ocean might affect these species and many others, including humans. I love to swim in the sound and I'm scared of sharks. Fewer sharks doesn't sound so bad. What's the problem with that? In fact, there's little reason to be afraid of sharks in the south. The last time a shark hit someone in Long Island South was 1961. And it was a spearfisher who was bitten by a shark 18 and a half years. The real issue is that sharks are not the only species impacted by the south getting warmer. An increase of about 8 degrees in temperature may not sound like much, but it can cause a domino effect for apex predators. 
like sharks, by changing their conditions that sustain the smaller fish sharks and even smaller animals and plankton, these fish feed off. The real issue is that sharks are not the only species impacted by the sound getting warmer. An increase of a few degrees in temperature may not sound like much, but it can cause a domino effect for apex predators like sharks by changing the conditions that sustain the smaller fish sharks eat. And even the smaller animal and plants and plant plankton these fish feed on. Excuse me, excuse me. Out of my way. What are you doing here? I heard you guys are talking about sharks. That's right. We were telling these nice people here how important sharks are to Long Island Sound and talking about how climate change endangers both people and sharks. Did you mention that we sharks are apex predators? Of course I did. Do you know the most important reason for protecting us? What's that? We're cute. You are cute, Sharky. Thank you. But that's not enough. If we're going to protect sharks by addressing climate change, we can't just tell people to do it because you're cute. These are big issues that we need to work together with our neighbors and our communities to solve. Those of us who care about the ocean need to work together on this issue. And there are a lot of resources to help us. For example, the Connecticut Green Bank is a state program that provides incentives and low income loans to homes and businesses to help them shift from reliance on fossil fuels to renewable energy. Not a lot of people know about it or take advantage of it, and that's a place we can all play a role. Look at the sharks swimming in front of you and the children at your feet. Protecting Long Island Sound and the oceans beyond will secure their future. It's the right thing to do. If we work together, we will do it.